Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be continuing the, um, uh, redoing, I'm going to redo my, uh, Wolfgang, um, as you probably already know, I've, uh, done a few videos, um, on, um, taking the, uh, hardware off and such on the neck. Um, there's one thing about these, uh, it's a Mexican made, it's not an actual, because as you can see right here, it says special. So, it's made in Mexico, obviously, because on the back it says, uh, I don't know if you can see that, made in Mexico. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, and I know you guys will probably be, be saying, hey, he's, <laughs> you're going to be fucking up with Wolf King. Well, it's not necessarily screwing it up. Um, although some of you might disagree about what I'm about to do. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about this long and hard. Uh, you've already seen me. Um, I, um, as far as aging the fingerboard, and stuff like that, and putting a little bit more uh, darkening up the back of the neck and stuff like that. Um, so this is actually a long way from being done. Um, what I'm about to do is this. I am going to cut a piece of sandpaper the width or about the width of this washcloth that I got rolled up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sand the finish off. And I'm going to sand into the actual paint to um, roughen it up. I'm going to be turning my wolf game into the white and black uh, before it was red. And what I've been thinking about doing is um after I got this all sanded down and got the lacquer off there and everything or what have you I'm going to finish this by also doing the back black here And I'm going to bring the black from probably about here, about here, on both sides, and taping it off like the 5150. And painting and bagging it up and taping it really good so no paint gets on the rest of it. And paint everything, spray paint everything black. And the reason why I'm going to be roughing up the paint here also with the sandpaper. This is going to be 220 grade, by the way. I didn't want to get any rougher than that. The reason why I'm sanding it, and you probably already know this, is so the paint will stick to the surface better. 
and I'm probably going to be doing it on here because this is also a lacquer. So the paint will stick to the wood better. And on the back too, because that's partially lacquered. Now, like I said, you guys are probably going to be going like, well, why? Well, because, you know, I can. <laughs> that's plain and simple. I can. Because it's my guitar. It, and I've been thinking about this long, like I said, long and hard for I don't know how long, probably about three, four, no, actually longer than that, probably about almost a year now, thinking about just redoing my whole Wolfgang. And painting it white and black, doing the stripes myself, um, putting my own idea into uh, what the stripes look like. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the white and black, and I'm going to look at those stripes. I'm not going to copy the stripes, but I'm going to look at those stripes and paint the body. Kind of, it'd be kind of like contouring uh, the body with the stripes, if you kind of know what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to make the stripes look, you know, like they were just put there or something like that. You know, I want to be able, to, I want to put the stripes down and make it kind of like contrast with the body. I want to, I want the stripes to um, kind of just go with the contour. So that's what I've been thinking about. And <laughs> it's come pretty much, you know, come up. And the pickups are going to probably be changed because these are the stock pickups on here. You know, maybe the 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 uh, potential meter, but the pot. <laughs> Maybe that'll be changed. Um, I still have to get a few other items and stuff like that, but this is where I'm starting right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that sandpaper about the width of The last plot there. And the reason why I picked something soft like this, I didn't really want to do it with an orbiter, a sand, an orbiter sander, because I don't want to ruin this uh, nice shoulder here. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's nice. I didn't want to ruin it. So I'm going to use uh, the washcloth so it will go with the contour of the uh, curve there. And, you know, a lot of people are going, Why? well, how could we be doing it all by doing that by hand when you can use the herbal sander? Because I just don't trust myself, for one, because I'm afraid of gouging into this shoulder here or something like that and just totally ruining it. So I'm going to do it this way, and we're going to start. So, I'm going to continue doing this, and we're going to see how far we can get. All right? So, uh, we'll see you in a bit. Ta-da! There 
it is. The headstock on this has been sanded. It's still a little smooth, but um, <laughs> that was rough. I tell you what, uh, the finish on the neck or the headstock here was just, it was just ungodly thick. And I um, uh, wound up having to wet sand. <laughs> so, but this is here. Let me turn it the other way so it's better situated. This is the beginnings of uh, the headstock. Now it kind of turned out a little bit different than what I had planned. Um, the edges started getting worn here and you know I noticed that after you know doing this for a bit and I was like well wait a minute what if I just leave that wear there I can tape these worn edges off with tape so no paint touches it and kind of jagged it up a little bit to make it look so not, you know, like it was done on purpose or something like that. And tape those areas off and then spray paint it with like a universal, I use Duplicolor, universal black Duplicolor. The whole headstock, front and back. And then tape off the bare areas, so no tape, so no paint touches it. You know, and I can kind of like, you know, uh, do the same thing with the edges, the sides here, after it's painted black. You know, just kind of give it some wear. So that's the beginning of it, right there. Um, one more thing. When you, if you ever want to try to do this, underneath the Mexican, I don't know if they're the, the American, but underneath the Mexican, I found four of these shims. Four, yeah, four or five uh, of these shims underneath the nut. So if you ever do this and you loosen this up and loosen the nut up, Make sure you keep an eye out for these shims. So, you know, tell me what you think um, about the headstock or the beginning of it. Uh, I know it's just rough right now and, you know, uh, <laughs> and I'm just doing this on a wing and a prayer, actually hoping that it'll turn out. So I gotta roughen up the the paint here a little bit more and um oh here we go. One more thing. This is not going to be the Wolfgang anymore. It's gonna be a different name and I'll give hints along the way about what I am going to nickname this guitar based off of Eddie's black and white, this Wolfgang. So, you know, kind of keep an ear out for those little hints and stuff like that, all right? So, um, uh, thanks for coming by, stopping, watching. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like. Uh, it helps out the channel a lot. Uh, leave a comment, please. And ring the notification bell so you get notified when another video comes up. All right? So thanks very much again. Um, we'll see you in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.